predator build first episode or part one however you want to look at it there's the engine yeah i know it's got a crack in the face of it fedex can't ship shit right there's the tank belt belt guard here's where we at so far this does not come in the kit that is just going to be used for a prop so to speak but yeah Them little pieces right here, these these little bolts here, as well as these brackets right here, come with the pump. And you will need, do I get that to focus? Maybe. Anyways, it's a CRV8. Alan. So, I'm sure a bunch of you guys have probably done the same thing as me. You've thought about this if you're going to build a pressure washer. And you're like, okay. This looks cool. Can't be that difficult. Well... All I can say to that is, want to bet? Because you've got a tensioner underneath here. This is just sitting here holding it up because of the way this is sitting here. So to make this right, and it does weigh a little bit. It's a TSF 2021, by the way, at 35 or 3400 RPM. It's supposed to be right at around eight and a half to eight point eight gallons a minute the <laughs> and this is kind of a trial and error thing too to make a video on this really just one and while Mike's video is informative he didn't show all the pain in the ass that it was to put this together so with me you're gonna see the whole thing how much of a pain in the butt it really is oh yeah there's a slide here She's already showered. I'm gonna let her ride with me. It's like 6:20. You want her to get in the shower? She might as well. I was trying to order over the phone, but the only menu I can find on there only has like part of the menu. It doesn't have all. Right, I'm just right. gonna go up there and grab a menu, go back to the car, look it over, order. Okay. Sounds fun. At least it's close. Closer than ever. True. Alright. Trying to decide dinner tonight. So, lucky for us, there's a Chinese place. It's not even a mile. I'm on a 
honestly not a huge, huge, huge fan of Chinese. However, the rest of the family loves it, so whatever. It is what it is. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared to death that pump's gonna fall off. I would have loved to have seen how Mike did his. And if you're a big guy and you got big hands, it's a pain in the ass even more. I'm going to attempt to do one side at a time. Hopefully it'll work. The camera's recording. Yeah. What do you want? I'm just going to say I'm going in to take a shower. I already knew that. Okay. Ten year old. parent that says their kids don't drive them nuts is a liar. <laughs> Especially right now with this homeschooling crap. Lord have mercy. God gave us jobs so we would not kill our loved ones. I'm a firm believer in that right now. God knows I love that little young in the death. But her and my girlfriend's two kids, two daughters. My God in heaven, they can just whew. drive you completely bonkers. This is a 9 16th for your mounting hardware. This is the fun part that Mike didn't show. Come on, Mike. He wants to see you struggle, man. Come on. the reality of it. it all the way down and then you know do a quarter turn and be done and then I, I go the whole way with it. Pretty sure that a lock washer would have sufficed this time. from Russ, Russ Johnson at Southside Equipment up in Kentucky. Call him and tell him what you're doing and he'll hook you up with what you need. Um, I didn't buy the pump from Russ. You can. He has them. Um, I found it cheaper. 
at another place, so I bought it from General Pump itself. Um, one of their other distributors. Uh, I believe it was JNN Equipment, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'll see if I can um, find the uh, receipt and transaction on that in one of the other videos because there's going to be at least two or three. I'll get that information to you guys. That way you can know. ding-dong moment. Guys, I still gotta get different size washers. Make sure your big one goes on your head, whether you go down with the bolt or up with the bolt, whichever that's your preference in my opinion. But if you go down with it if something starts getting loose you'll be able to see your threads going down if dang it if it's the other way around and the bolt is facing down you won't know nothing until the nut comes off the damn thing and then it turns on you or you lose tension with your tensioner <laughs> oh, this is aggravating. I'm not really one for trying to do stuff the hard way. I like to work harder. Excuse me, smarter, not harder. But uh, it's been a bad day. Been a very rough day. So. Had to deal with the kids' school stuff this morning, as usual, and then <clears throat> and then you know after that, finally got out of here after I went to a tractor, not tractor spot, went to a northern tool, trying to find a fuel line for this because it does not come with one. Couldn't find one there. I also went there looking for a um, I also went there looking for something called cigarona. This would be a whole, whole, whole lot of easier with a damn socket. And I'm not even playing with how deathly <laughs> scared I am that this damn thing is going to fall off this table and wreck my 500 auto pump and then pissed off just isn't quite going to cover what I am at that point.
And if you do a socket on this, you're going to do it from the bottom. This means you got to hold this damn thing up. Because that is not going to be tall enough. So, I'm going to look around and see what it's going to
I get to jamming out on this thing too much. Held on here by these three bolts that come in the kit, and then there's a little small one that goes on the top. That's all that holds it. The rest of it just sits together like a clamshell almost. I think it'll work. If it don't, take damn things back apart. Um, you don't have a lot of choices. I know one thing that every man can agree with. I need a bigger damn shot. I'm actually in my shit. Working. It don't matter where you do it, guys. Never big enough. Bullshit, this is not glamorous part of Thread this baby down in here.
Okay. Well, that's our breakfast. And I know what you're thinking. Man, why don't you just keep that board up? You're going to need it again when you mount the motor. And you're right. I will. However, I'm not going to. All right. So here is your plug, is it's shipping plug, where your oil dipstick goes. And then on this side of it, you got a hole. Bear with me, guys. Got all kinds of shit in the way. This plug right here is for your unloader. This plug down here is for your inlet barb. One inch, baby. She hungry. You gotta feed her some good water. Get y'all resituated here. <coughs> oh, and if you did see them, and wires right there, those are. Kit comes with six foot leads. And my trailer, which is over here, from the front box where the battery is, around back to where this is going to be mounted, is a little bit longer than six foot. So whenever I contacted Russ, I told him I wanted 12 foot leads. So that's what I got. <coughs> Alright. There's a keyway right here that has. It has um, a little Allen in it. And that one is going to be Never get it on the first try. There's that little set screw that's in there. And that is a one eighth. So this goes on here over the keyway.
Just saying, it might help if I had the right one. It just might. So this one and this keyway are going to go on the engine. The smaller pulley goes on the engine. down and make sure I can see it inside of here because I definitely don't want to lose it. Alright. So this is something from Mike's video that I learned. Appreciate it Mike. But uh, some of these or I should say every other one of these holes is threaded. And every other one of these is also threaded. And that's not going to work. So there you go, I'm about to order another damn part because they sent the wrong one. So zippity damn doo da. Plus I just noticed something. Oh never mind. That's the belt's right, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna figure that out. That is not gonna flare up the thread into there. Not at all. So the story of my life. When it comes to me working on shit, it doesn't work. <laughs> So, drop these bolts back in here. I'm not sure which box goes to it, honestly. I think it's this one. Should be, could be, might be. Hopefully that's right. That one should be. That one, I guess. So, let's try this. Let's see here. Just maybe he just sent the wrong one with just the one being bad or being wrong. Okay. That's 
that's on. So this is the same. Uh, oh, bigger. This is a four metric. That's Sorry guys, not metric, it is 5.30 seconds on that. And then this behemoth here, like I said, these are unthreaded and these are threaded. The difference is that same thing on here. You got unthreaded here and threaded right here. So obviously you want to go through an unthreaded bolt here, hole here. So the Threaded here so that you actually thread into here to pull the pulley onto it because of the slit here, it'll actually close this up. And that, of course, is going to be a pain as well. But hey, it wouldn't be a live, real video if it wasn't. So, a rubber hammer would be nice. Rubber mallet? I don't have one of them. So, the fun thing is going to be getting this sucker on there without flickering it up. Yeah, I gotta go get it. 
socket for this. All right, these bolts here are a half inch on the head. So, like I said, I don't have a mallet. Just to go out of bed, move it on. By the way, that might be interesting point to make. This right here is what comes with the kit. Now you're supposed to mount your pump to this. This hole here, that hole there, this hole here, and this hole here. And it's supposed to sit like that. That's good and all. If you want to take these allen bolts that come with the pump and switch those out for a standard bolt because the only way you're going to be able to tighten this one and this one can't go through here i already tried the only way to tighten them too because you've got literally that much room between the head and the top of this flange here so the only way you're going to get in there is with a standard bolt and then of course you can take your wrench and tighten it down I'm not going to do that. I just don't feel like it. But if you wanted to, you can. And then it would sit just like that right there. Now, this is actually taller than the flanges down here. And if I can't get everything to do what I need it to do anyways, I may go hunt and see if I can find a bolt the same thread. Um... And I might do that anyways just to do it, honestly. <coughs> but, um, <clears throat> I mean, these have lock butts on them and you can't tighten the piss out of them anyways because you strip out your pump and you can't mount the damn thing. So, that ain't going to work. But, this is the plate that actually comes with it. The other thing I want to do is I want to sit that heavy-ass motor, which, the thing weigh 130 pounds in case you didn't know that. So, if you're um, older or if you're um, you know, I'm not up to that task of picking up that much weight because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't want to do it either. Bitch is heavy. Um, taking it out of the box was a pain in the ass because it's attached to that board. But, and I didn't want to tear my box up because you never know, you might need to ship the bitch back. 
Uh, I'm kind of funny on stuff like that. I keep boxes, at least for a little while. Um, even though you can go, I ordered that from Harbor Freight, and I can take it back to a Harbor Freight store. There's two of them here where I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and I could swap it out and all that crap, even with the busted front, which I might do. I haven't fully decided yet. I will tell you one thing about these things, too. They're made in China, and you cannot buy parts for them. You can't even find parts for them. You can find performance, performance parts. Uh, you know, erase mufflers and alternator kits and all that kind of crap for them. Um, for guys to put them on buggies and stuff like that. But as far as, like, just that cover just cracked, can't find it nowhere. I spent five hours a day as I was bouncing around town with my dad. And then when I got home, about probably an hour and a half solid, trying to find a stupid cover for a motor, that front plastic, could not find it. Nobody carries it. Nobody even is a remanufacturer of it. So, I could order it from China, from whoever makes it. But, um, yeah, that's the only option on that. And if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, please, and tell me where I can get the damn parts, because I'd like to order them. Um, if nothing else, if I can get this thing to last me about five jobs, I can pay the bills and I'll buy a damn Honda GX90 or 690 GX, however you want to say it. Um, and then I ain't got to worry about that shit because I get the parts for it everywhere. But yeah, that's what this is for is the mountain base. And like I said, I may, I may try to do that. I don't know yet. We'll see. that shit. <laughs> Sometimes you just need another perspective. I am a big proponent of stop. Don't get pissed. Look at it. Figure it out. Then get pissed. <laughs> <coughs> By the way, if any of y'all know what this little doodad right here is, or what the hell it does, or I mean, I know it's Y'all read that. Made in USA. 100534. 1030 of 19. I don't know what it is. Got a little old teeny tiny pinhole on this end. And an Allen look on this end. So, y'all know what that is? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Because, uh, I'm interested to find out where where it goes, what it is, whatever. This Allen end. Threads out. And there's a spring in there. So yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know where it goes. Somebody comment, let me know. Turns till it bottoms up. Like I said, that is a little teeny tiny thing. So, kind of make me wonder if it didn't that in right yonder or something 
or the front. I don't know. Don't know. So I'm hoping one of you guys can tell me that. Hopefully, hopefully. See what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just threading pieces together that I know where they go. Just calls. this it has to be drawn down evenly I know that just from working on other stuff You guys always remember too, it's easier to push than it is to pull. Be surprised right here till I see you fight with that crap. Alright. So right now I'm not picking that motor up here. I said that before but pretty sure I did. I am not doing that. Another thing I'm gonna do is take one of these out, take it with me, get it stored, and uh, you know ace or tractor fly. There's a tractor fly really close to me. About two miles away, three miles away. So I might take one of these out here. And I'm gonna get some about probably double the length. And that'll let me mount it in my trailer. Put a big old fat washer on the bottom. Run the head up. Keep this rubber boot here, this isolator, you know, for vibrations on the trailer. And um 
Yep. We'll see. Get the uh, get the motor. Maybe tomorrow I'll put this on the floor. If I have time tomorrow. Put the motor on top of it. Mount that up. I might have to suspend it in the air too to get underneath it with the ratchet. So that ought to be interesting. But uh, might get it on top. We've got to see where the bolts are. There's a bird on my roof or something. So, anyways, this video has gone on long enough. Y'all seen me struggle long enough with this. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, progress. Still got to get a fuel line. Still got to do a few other things. But, uh, progress is progress. So, hope, uh, Hopefully you'll like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't like it. Um, subscribe if you want to see what's coming because I'm going to redo my whole trailer once I get everything put together and get someone here to help me move it over there because I ain't going to try to pick it up. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for the next episode.